Hang out. I have the zombie tarot because this is Deb's bubble. Right now it is zombie Deb's bubble. Zombie Deb's bubble. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Don't come for me. What's that one? We have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands talks about family. But this is not just any normal family. This is a zombie family. You see all that shit smashed up? That's a that's a wreck right there. That's a wreck right there. But at least they're having fun, right? They are having a blast. It's a party. It's a party up in that house. Yep. It's a party up in there. I want to be invited to that party. That looks like fun. There's bones and brains and they're gnawing on stuff and there's cake and presents and they're walking through the door going, hey, I'm home. That looks like fun. So the four ones talks about family. A happy family. Look, that one's still coming out. All right. So we have the moon, right? So this one's a little bit different because this one's got a cemetery with a bunch of zombies, but it's got a doctor zombie, a bride zombie, a, a groom zombie, and it's got a crow and a key, and it's got a woman floating in a bed draining. So this tells me that somebody is dreaming about, either dreaming about the dead people down on the bottom, but the key is your dreams. All right, the key, the key is your dreams. That's what I'm hearing right now. The key is your dreams. Unlock your dreams. Okay? And the crow is significant too. Some of you might be seeing crows right now. Um, yeah, some of y'all might be seeing crows, which is kind of odd because it's a little cold right now for that, I think. But pay attention to your dreams. Typically, the moon card talks about secrets, but this it, it, this particular message is pay attention to your dreams. This is two totally separate messages, by the way. These cards don't relate to each other. Somebody needs to pay attention to their dreams, and this one is. family card. Yeah. Somebody needs to notice that. This one's going to be a little bit longer. I'm glad I get the 10 minute upload. 15 minute upload. Okay. Hold on. Why do we have the four wands? Got two messages going on. Two hazards. Two of pentacles. Okay, somebody needs to find balance with their family. Okay, with all this chaos that you have going on in your house, you see all the chaos? Okay, this is complete chaos, right? The Two of Hazards, Two of Pentacles, talks about finding balance. Somebody's having a lot of chaos in their home. Somebody needs to find balance, okay? The Queen of Cups talks about having patience and being... Um, emotionally stable basically the queen of cups like you, you see her sitting there all nice and mellow eating her brains in her chair right but she she's relaxed like she doesn't have a care in the world on the beach it's being an emotionally stable person with an abundance of love right okay cups is love and stable emotions so this talks about finding an emotional balance with your family. Okay? I'm not saying that you're an unstable person. I'm not saying that. But somebody might be a little stressed out and needing to take a deep breath before. And I feel like somebody might be snapping too quick or yelling too quick or. 
flying off the handle too quick. That's what it is. I think somebody's flying off the handle too quick. That was the word I was looking for. All right. So why do we have the moon card? I really hope that resonates for somebody. Um, why do we have the moon card? So somebody is dreaming with the moon card, right? So it's somebody, the key is in somebody's dreams. We have the magician. Okay, but this is not an ordinary magician. This magician's a little bit sneaky. And then we have the world, okay? The world on fire with the lovers down at the bottom. So somebody may be trying to dream, do dream manifestations, um, or could just be dreaming of a love or dreaming, trying to do dream manifestations. And with that, I say you need to be careful because we have the tower here on the bottom, right? So here in the tower, you see there's this big old fancy party, right? Um, everybody's having a good time and, and stuff like that. But with the Queen of Swords on the bottom, this tells you that you need to use your, your brain. You need to be astute. You see this Queen of Queen of Swords here, she's got her gun sitting in her lap and she ain't got a zombie bite one on her. She's still alive, right? This tells you to use your brain and be smart when it comes to this magician here because this magician is, you know, being all cockamamie, he ain't got a bite on him either. But he's sitting there throwing everything in a pot and just kind of flinging shit around trying to see what sticks and what works. This is a sneaky magician. This is not the correct way to do things. So when you're sitting there and you're going to, if you're doing the key to your manifestations, okay, if you are trying to follow everybody else that is not doing something properly, you need to take a step back and you need to reevaluate and you need to follow this Queen of Swords lady right here and you need to educate yourself first follow one person and then do it correctly this also is for anybody who is learning to do something new this is educate yourself and then proceed take a step back reevaluate and then proceed this is if you're learning a new thing at school learning a new job learning anything new do not follow 15,000 people for the same topic pick one person and then proceed forward Okay, because if you're following 15,000 people and 15,000 people are telling you to do 15 different thousand things, this is what's going to happen to you. You see this, you know, all these people dancing in the tower, right? And you see that little lightning bolt thing? That's what's going to happen. And then you have this ten of wands here. And all those bones are going to go ba-boom. Okay. So. With that being said. I really hope that that resonates for somebody. Uh, sorry that, that this message was a little bit longer. There's two messages. These are two separate messages. Um, I do want to say that. Whoever. This is for. This is the strength card. It applies to both messages. You both have the strength. For whatever this is okay um, you're both strong people if it applies to multiple people you both have the strength to you know garner your way through whatever these things are um, if not there's two boxes of you know unalive stuff down at the bottom and just you know take them out take the zombies out not real people. I mean, geez. Anyway, it's a zombie reading. It's not, you know, meant for it's entertainment purposes only, y'all. Zombie readings are entertainment purposes only. So, there. I said it. Now, I hope y'all have a fantastic day, night, evening, wherever you are. Now that this reading has been long enough, I will see y'all on the next one.